when I look at my hair, I see the patterns that exist on my mother's side and my father's side. It reminds me of my ancestors and how they took care of their hair. There's so much energy and power in hair. That's why we were told to cut it. That's why we were told to change it. My mom started perming my hair when I was three years old, actually. I thought that to do your hair as a black person was to perm it and to straighten it. It took a massive unlearning to dismantle that. In different places in the world, there were actually laws that black people couldn't wear their natural hair out. They had to cover it up. When you change someone's hair, you tell them that the way that they inherently are is not good enough. I've been natural for about three or four years now. I never ever touched a relaxer ever again. I had like permed here. I begged my mom. I just wanted to like fit in what society viewed as what a black girl should look like back then. And I just conformed to that. When I was starting to like figure out like who I am, um, my sexuality and gender, I was like, I don't identify with this hair anymore. So I just decided to like buzz cut my hair. I looked in the mirror and like the reflection that I saw was getting closer and closer to the person that I always imagined. Lean back for mama. Thank I'm you. Okay, good job. Good job, say so. My hair as a child, I was adopted by a white family. So my mother did learn to corner my hair, but we didn't do it very often. So a lot of times I had really low hair. Really, I felt like I embraced my hair when I got to university. I actually decided to grow locks and that was empowering. I was really coming into my own as a black woman. I grew them for 10 years and I just, I love them. Unfortunately, they were taken away from me. I was actually assaulted, so they were physically ripped out of my head. And then I developed alopecia, so then the rest of my hair started just dropping out. It was such a big part of me that was just gone and it wasn't my choice. It was a really difficult time for me. But I had girls, so I had to sort of measure that and balance that. How am I gonna respond? I'm regrowing my locks again, sort of to set that example that I do love my hair and I love myself. Navigating the world as masculine presenting with locks, I feel like that there's a whole other stigma, just like in general, like being a black man in the world. As I felt like more comfortable when I started to medically transition, I felt more comfortable experimenting with my hair. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And I locked my hair. Since I have like 4C hair, I would be like, oh, why do I have this hair texture? Why couldn't it not be like more manageable and easy? But I feel like as the years gone on, I like burn a candle, I play music, I like massage my scalp. It is meditative and I give like way more thanks to my hair. Through accepting who I am gender wise and just accepting my queerness, that allowed me to in turn also be comfortable in my blackness. And I'm grateful that I have the hair texture that I have because it's thick, luscious, beautiful. When I started my natural hair journey, I immediately put it in box braids. When I took it out, I was so blown away. I was so amazed. I hadn't seen my hair my whole life, basically, since I was three years old. It felt so alive and it felt so soft and so nice and I was able to actually put my hands in my hair and feel like connected to it. taking care of my hair. It was something that I actually had to learn to work with. It's not something that I could necessarily take complete control over. 
I always say that my hair is super independent. It decides when it wants to shrink. It decides when it wants to grow. I can manipulate it by doing different styles, but ultimately I don't tell my hair how to coil. That's something that it just does by itself. It's a relationship that I have. You have to nourish it and you have to be intentional and loving. So now I feel like my wash days are a lot more meditative. It's a very personal process that certainly has grown to be a spiritual practice too. Because my hair experience was so traumatic when I was growing up, I was very determined that they wouldn't have that experience. Because when I was little, I wanted long, blonde, like flowy hair. So now seeing them, I love that they are proud of themselves, that they're proud of who they are as black girls. I learned that I have to put stuff in my hair to keep it growing. I learned stuff about my hair so it's not tangled and so it get moistured. I love having my natural hair. Hearing them say that, it actually makes me kind of emotional because it's just, it's been such a journey. Black hair to me is love and passing that on to my girls is really important. Love you. Thank you.